I guess I'm a fixed audio video production here at the NAMM Show 2024 to know more about RME technology, RME stuff with Derek. How you doing? My name is Derek. I'm with Synthax, which is the worldwide distributor of RME. We're the same company. And today we are showing the new immersive audio solutions for the Fireface series. So if you own existing Fireface or you buy a new Fireface, you can do a firmware update and get Dolby immersive, oh, wow. uh, immersive setups built in, which is room EQ, output delay, volume calibration, cross feed, low frequency bass management. And in the total mix ecosystem, we have the ability to manage all of your 7.1.4 outputs with the ARC USB in combination so you can have full immersive setups. In terms of I.O. configurations, your choices are going to be the UFX3, maybe with an M32DA Pro, or the Fireface UCX2 with a Pulse 16, or even a Fireface 802 or UFX2. So that's kind of what's new at this show that we're kind of showing and then we'll show you around the other booth. Also new at this show is the new Fireface 802 FS. This replaces the previous Fireface 802. So this has steady clock FS te technology, which improves the microphone preamps, uh, improves the performance of the A to D and the D to A converters. And of course, we have the Fireface UFX2. So the whole range of Fireface products are right here. UFX3, UFX2, UCX2, Fireface 802. Great. And also here is possible the immersive sound? Yeah, all of these have it. Right? Okay. Built in. Okay. Great. And we still need a render in Atmos. Yeah, so the workflow is you have your DAW with your downloaded plugins with Adobe Audio Bridge and your object panner. You could use the Dolby, Dolby Audio Bridge to go from your DAW, you download the Dolby renderer from okay. the Adobe website. And then from the Dolby renderer, you set your outputs to one of your RME devices. Okay. So that's the signal flow. But the immersive audio feature set, which is the Room EQ, you can take measurements with SonarWorks or Room EQ okay. Wizard and put those settings in. There's a nine band parametric EQ and output delay on those 7.1.4 outputs that Great. you can put in. Right. Also over here, in addition to RME, we also distribute and have partnership with Ferrofish and Apsis. These are also German manufacturers, okay. and they complement the RME brand. So new is the Multiverter MVR Mark II. This is the Swiss Army Knife digital format converter with 16 channels of ASCBU, 64 channels of Dante, 128 channels of MADI, uh, uh, 64 channels of AS67, 96 channels of AS50, which is your Midas and your Behringer products, as well as ADAT light pipe and you can format convert between all of those formats wow, using a web GUI, which you can connect directly to the USB port or over IP, yeah. you can actually do individual channel routing, which most converters don't do. You have to do things in eight channel yes. chunks. This will allow me to go Maddie channel 13 to Dante channel five. Wow. There's also an onboard sample rate converter, so I can separate clocks and it interacts, say, front of house sound with monitor sound or front of house sound with broadcast sound, and nobody has to be on each other's master clocks. Great. The Ferrofish line is going to be your quintessential analog to digital converter with lots of channels. 32 in, 32 out analog to Dante, to Maddie, to ADAT, to AS67. The Pulse 16, though it looks a little different, is really essentially the same solution just with 16 channels of analog yep. in and out and quarter inch instead of D sub connectors. Okay. Down here is the Apsis Flexiverters. Really what the Flexiverters are about is when you just need a simple one format to another and okay. you get a Flexiverter Dante, you put in a Matty auxiliary card and you have a simple one-to-one -one converter. Okay. So it's like taking the, the, the this product yes. and blowing it up into smaller components. So users can customize a converter to their exact needs and not That's great. pay for more than what they yes, need. Yes, exactly. Last but not least, as far as A to D to A to converters, is over in this kiosk. So a Tech Award finalist is the RME 12 Mike Dante. This is a microphone preamp with 64 I.O. of Dante and 128 I.O. of Matty. So wow. it is a microphone preamp to those networks yes. as well as a Matty to Dante converter. You have the ability to it, use it from the control panel. You simply push the button that you want and then you control okay. your, your, your gain, your phantom power, et cetera. 
There's also a web GUI built into this. A wonderful SD. So you can go into the IP address and control the preamps oh, remotely. Okay. And if you're building a network where, say, you have a 12 mic in different locations, you can. There's a software. It allows you to build your custom GUI so you can control three, four, five, 12 mics in the same interface. Wow. And it's a RME uh, remote connector. That's what it's called. Okay. What you're seeing up here is the M32DA or AD Pro Dante. These are going to be high-end reference class converters to Dante and Matty. Great for install. You also has a removable faceplate oh, so wow. you can label it. So if this is in a rack, you don't have to look at a computer to know what your IOs are. Okay. And up here on the TV is an example of what these remotes look like. So we're connecting the converter on the Dante network, but over here we're controlling the preamps and routing the audio into one of the RME That's audio it. interfaces. Great. That's, That's it. it. Thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you. Guy, you have the link in the description if you want to know more about RME. Of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.